Tyler Hero has agreed to a four-year, $130 million contract extension with the Miami Heat. So he's going into his fourth year with the Heat right now. Uh, might be coming off the bench again, which, come on, Miami, I think it's I think it's time to move on from the Tyler Hero off the bench stuff. I know he gives you a good spark off the bench, but he literally averaged almost 21, half, 21 points per game last season, five rebounds, four assists a steal, shot 40% from three. Like, imagine if he was in the starting lineup. I know he played starting lineup minutes, but he's going to be open a lot. They're going to be guarding Jimmy Butler. They're going to be guarding Bam Adebayo. He'd be open a lot. I would say put him in the starting lineup. I don't know why you wouldn't. Uh, And especially when you're paying him $130 million over the next four years, I guess he still could come off the bench, average 21 points per game really really good for coming off the bench uh near all-star numbers for sure definitely if he keeps improving on the rate he is probably will be an all-star in the future but 130 million dollars over four years 120 is 30 million so he's making a little over 30 million like 32 33 million like 32 and a half or something like that million per year which very very good i would say that is a fair contract for him. It's not a max extension. Because max extension, he'd be getting $40 million a year. About, I think. Because Zion got like, what, 190 or something like that. Uh, and that's a max extension. So, I think this is fair for his ability. Um, a lot, a lot of money. That's like a, t- that's so much money. Oh my god. Especially for someone coming off the bench. Probably the highest paid, like the highest, biggest contract ever given to someone coming off the bench. Unless I'm forgetting someone. Because I don't think that... Did Jalen Brunson get more than that? Jalen Brunson got like, what, 110 or 120 or something? So, yeah, this is probably the biggest contract for someone coming off the bench ever. Unless I am forgetting someone. But I don't know who the he would even want to start at the shooting guard spot if they want to start like Max Struess. Duncan Robinson fell out of the rotation last year at some points. It uh, didn't seem like they were really too high on him. So they've had like Max Struess. They've had... Gabe Vincent, but come on, like, I'm not a huge fan of that. I know they're good players, but they'd be good off the bench as well. So you could have your lineup be, like, Kyle Lowry, then Tyler Hero, and Jimmy Butler's kind of got to play the power forward next year because they don't really have any power forwards now that P.J. Tucker and Markeith Morris left. So you could, I guess let's say, let's let's say Tyler Hero's a small forward because he's He's, he can play small forward. Uh, shooting guards, maybe like Victor Oladipo or Max Struess or Gabe Vincent. And then your center, obviously, Bam Adebayo. Power forward, obviously, Jimmy Butler. So I love the signing for the Miami Heat. I want to know what you guys have to say in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, though. See you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.